Yo, what's up? It's Jay Frost here, back with another video today. Today, we are at Crover Go-Karting, starting it off with a lucky number one. Now, I'm at my friend's birthday, and we're doing two sessions of go-kart practicing. And yeah, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Right here, I'm just doing a few um, slow laps, um, you know, just to get the tyres warmed up, make sure that the tyres are warmed up. The day's, tra um, the day's track conditions are actually better than last time. They're not the best, but they're better than the last time. The track is slightly damp. However, you can take this corner right here on the apex. Now, last time you had to hit it on the outside because you'd spin out, but this time you can hit that bit. It's a bit bumpy, but you know, that's the fun part. Um, but yeah, we're just coming through that tight little bit here. And yeah, so yes, yeah, my friend's 21st birthday this. And yeah, um, happy birthday to him. And um, it's also his brother as well. They're both new to go-karting. So yeah, um, so yeah, they're quite a bit slower than me, but we all have to start somewhere. And you know, me actually, Having, them a far, having a faster driver with them is actually helping them. I also gave them some points and tips as well. Um, yeah. Also, the people over here are quite happy to help at Chroma Kart Tracks. They're pretty friendly around here. That's why I recommend this place. Well, more than that, it's quite a good track as well. Yes, it's smaller than some of them, but you know, it's smaller but more twisty is the way how I see it. It's more technical than SA, LR Park, and stuff like that. Um, plus Ella Park, they don't allow cameras, and this is just a bit more of a friend. This is a much more friendly place than Ella Park, in my opinion. Even though Ella Park is quite good, but yeah, I just say that this place um, has its pros as well. And yeah, um, definitely a lot more fun. Um, well, it depends really what you like, but if you like a tight and twisty track, go to this place. You're also allowed to go pro. Uh, where if you want a larger track, I guess go to Bella Park. But yeah, oh, as you can see, my friend has spun out right here. I was actually quite surprised he did not bring out yellow flag right there. I guess maybe the marshal didn't have to run out in front of the track; he just had to run on the grass right there. But I slowed down for him anyways, and yeah, I do a few laps without the talking, and yeah, well, I just talk when I need to talk. But yeah. victim <laughs> yeah um yeah i think he took that corner a little bit too wide there but yeah he, he's a bit new so yeah i think that was probably his first time never going and i think it's my other friend's second time third time going um but yeah um yeah uh i think like this is where i sort of start to speed up there the first few laps were kind of slow i'm sort of having to learn this track um you know in drier conditions as I sort of but well, I was doing the track in wet conditions which is good for like you know learning it in wet conditions but yeah this is where I sort of seem to take it a bit faster right there um, but yeah um, it's got, I've got to be learning it's a lot more grippy than it was last time last time it was very understeer so you had to slow down a lot um, but yeah this also seems to be a fairly decent car as well it seemed fairly grippy
got a bit of a battle going on here. So as you can see, I'm coming up right behind this guy. And yeah, they're actually, um, you know, doing pretty good for their first time. Uh, yeah, uh, so yeah, we're just having, they're having a little bit of a race. And you know, I tried to get past him right here, but that does not work. And yeah, as you can see, sort of the goat is going for the outside, and he has overtaken him on the outside. Which is, you know, pretty good move right there. Um, yeah, I'm slowly catching up to this guy. Holds quite a good defense line. He takes the apex, so I can't get past. And he's going through here. Could have taken it faster, but he's new, so, you know, uh, this part is flat out right here. Um, yeah, so he's actually held me off for a lap, which is pretty good, and he spun out right there. I don't know what happened. I think he, uh, I think he must have jabbed the brake a bit too hard right there. Um, yeah, I don't really know what happened there. He must have, like, locked up his brakes and spun out. Uh, maybe jabbed it a bit too hard, as I said, and maybe his brakes his wheels locked up but yeah if he could have held that up maybe he could have held it up for another lap or so and yeah this is just what's really good about this track you can like you know it's, 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 it's so technical like that like it's, it's, it's quite a difficult track um, well I guess easy to learn hard to master I guess when it comes to overtaking uh, but yeah um, which you know I like a bit of a challenge sometimes so yeah I mean, it's, you, you can still overtake on this track, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I, I'm more of like a cornering sort of person, more than like, you know, a straight line sort of person. So, yeah, this track has a lot more corners. I sort of um, got the rear end out a bit right there, probably slowed me down a bit, uh, but, you know, it's a bit of fun. <laughs> uh, but I didn't mean to do that, I just did that by accident, but, yeah. victims right here um, yeah so we're coming up to him I think he goes a bit wide I think he, he probably should follow the racing line or maybe he doesn't know what the racing line I don't think he knows what the racing line is but see he goes a bit wide right over there um, and I take that right there and yeah we go through here and yeah oh um, so yeah I'm um, apparently I'm putting some really fast laps um, so yeah, the guys down here said, you know, I should get a test book down um, soon because I think if you know I get a day which is clear, um, like this day or a dry day, they said you know I might be able to get in. Um, I might be able to pass a test like I was doing in the previous video, um, which should allow me to do some of the racing, which you know would be some good content for this channel. Um, that might be in a while. That might be be a while because um, you know I've got my business has been on a bit of a downfall lately and I've been trying to raise some money and stuff like that um, so yeah um, yeah so it probably won't be for a while but it'll probably be in like a couple months time maybe or you know yeah um, maybe a bit before then who knows uh, but yeah uh, yeah
is sort of approaching two more people right here. Um, yeah. So, come up here, right over here. And yeah, I think they're sort of improving a lot. They're having sort of a little battle up here. Take it around here. Friends sort of got a little bit of a better line through there, I guess. Um, maybe could have got a bit faster, but yeah, I overtook him on the right hand side. Um, yeah, and I'm sort of catching up to him, right? This guy over here. Um, yeah, sort of. I, I well, probably could have done, probably could have overtaken him, but I didn't sort of sort of slowed down right there and sort of gave way to me, I think. Um, but yeah, he could have overtook him on the left right there as well, but yeah, um, you know. I probably could have, but I didn't. I wasn't sure if he was going to go wide or something. So, yeah. Um, you know, you know, I don't think you really do go up wide over there. But yeah, I just didn't. Well, I know these guys are sort of new, so you know, I didn't want to uh, do anything like that. Uh, yeah. It's sort of stalled there for some strange reason, so I called for some help, and yeah. So this time it looks like we've got cart number 12, and yeah, um, this one's a bit different from what I noticed, I'll sort of talk about it in the video, but yeah, let's just start the race, or the, the practice session I guess. It's not really a race, it's uh, just more like a track day. Yeah. Probably should I probably take I took him this first um, this first uh, lap maybe a little bit too fast but I stayed within control of the car. Um, I guess I just took that with caution I guess. I guess he's a bit ran you know quite close so I, mean, I guess it's not too bad you know, the grip is not gonna be as good when we're racing until the race or the session the way you want to call it and so on. I guess it's not really a race, but yeah, um, it's more against the race against your own, I guess. Um, I guess you could call it a race, actually. But yeah, I noticed that this car, it definitely likes to slide a lot more. Um, no, I, I sort of felt it a lot, like, it, it, it just didn't want to corner as much, it just wanted to take the back end out as much, um, which, you know, you know, people see, yeah, the bad car as a bad thing. I guess it is technically a bad thing but 
I'd say it's actually quite good when you do get bad cut because learning how to um, sort of adjust to different cuts is quite a good um, quite a good point. So yeah, you will the winning cut in you know all places are the same. You will get a bad cut and you will get a good cut. I mean different places will maintain them differently, some will maintain them very well, some won't. Um, but yeah, there's always going to be a bad car. I mean, at the end of the day, everyone is racing these, thrashing these, bumping them about, I guess. Um, and, you know, they get they get a lot of abuse from other people. So, yeah, they're not going to be running all the time perfect. Um, this is one of the things when it comes to rental car, one of the things to suspect. I mean, even when you're running your own, sometimes the car may not run as well as, you know, it should. Um... But yeah, um, yeah. So this car is definitely like a lot more slidey, though it's a lot more fun when it's a bit slidey. Um, you don't, you obviously don't want to be sliding around the corners, but um, you know, just I don't know, something about correcting, like something like a spin or something. Or even though I don't really like spin that much, I just sort of go a bit sideways sometimes. Or can, I just hear the, uh, you can hear the tires a lot more. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we are approaching this other person right here. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna. So yeah, he goes a bit wide. I think he could probably hold. I think he could probably hold like a racing line. Maybe I should have said that to him. Um, probably doesn't know what the racing line is, but yeah. Um, maybe I can explain it to him. Maybe next time if we go kiting with him. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, getting a getting a good um, getting a good racing line is good for getting a lot of speed and carrying a lot of speed around the corners and just getting a good lap time overall, as well as you know it helping with your defence as well because if you go wide, people are just going to overtake you from what from that angle when you're going wide. Um, but yeah, M might have spun a little bit right there. Um, yeah. I'll leave some laps, or I'll stop talking right now, and yeah, I'll just do the same thing I was doing before. Catching up to the guy in front, so he's actually he actually puts out pr a pretty decent fight right here, um, and I think this is actually his second time ever doing go karting. So yeah, um, yeah, probably could have gone a little bit more left right there, but yeah, um, maybe could have held a slight, like maybe gone a bit close to the apex right there, but you know he's holding he's held he's holding me off. Um, yeah. So I'm slowly catching up to him. This is where I sort of catch up to him right here. I'm getting, I'm getting closer to him, and he is actually doing pretty well. You know, I'm I'm sort of he sort of got a similar sort of exit speed to me. He went a bit right over there, um, so that I gained a little bit more time on him right there. But he's got the inside line and he does slide a bit which slows him down as well. 
he got the hit the apex better than me right there um, but he goes a bit wide again over here and I get the overtake but yeah if he would have held that line maybe he could have kept that up for a bit um, if it would have you know not go so wide right there but yeah I'm pretty amazed that he was able to do that for his first few times maybe if you watch this video back he will know for the next, he will know for the next time Could have um, probably sat a bit more on the outside there, but um, or, you know, hold a better line right there. But yeah, I'm sort of catch. He could have held another line up here, but he goes a bit wide, um, and he sort of struggles around there. I think he probably would have been able to take that a bit better if he took an actual line around. Um, but yeah, I just snuck quite right through there, and yeah, that was a pretty good move. first yellow flag as you can see right here um, so yeah I think he just went into it looks like he went a bit too fast into the uh, tire wall or maybe didn't take a good enough line um, so yeah it sort of looked like he sort of understeered into the uh, tire wall from here but yeah accidents do happen and he is new so yeah but you know even if you are a good car accidents do happen I I've been in quite a few crashes um, well 
there have been in quite a few crashes before. I mean, it all happens to the best of us. Right there, there was a green flag. Um, it was quite hard to see in the video, but there is a green flag, so it's all back up to race speed. It was dealt with quite quickly, and yeah, um, yeah. Sort of the last stretch right up here, and I I was hoping I was going to get an overtake right there, but yeah, unfortunately, or a bit of a battle, but unfortunately, I didn't get there. Um, it was this it was right at the end of the lap, unfortunately, but yeah, um, all things have to come to an end, I guess. But yeah, um, I will be doing the uh, the I will be trying to get a test soon, or like one of them like assessment sessions for the race. So there will be some racing videos maybe in the future. Um, I just, you know, um, I've just got to wait until I get some money first and get some stuff out of the way. And I'll probably do that. Um, yeah, might have to be next month maybe. But yeah, it's looking into sort of summer time. Um, or maybe maybe two months time I might do it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's around summer time and they said I am, I'm sort of, you know, getting better at it. They said they said I think I'm ready um, if I'm doing it in the dry or just wait until I'm doing it to the dry. Um, which you know, there's a lot of hot days recently, so yeah. Every time I seem to go karting, it's always seemed to be wet. But today wasn't so wet. Um, but yeah, it's just the UK for you. Um, but yeah, it's coming up to summer. It's quite hot weather um, coming up, so yeah, you've got a brace for that. Um, but yeah, uh, like and subscribe for more. My name's Chase Ross. I'm out. Peace.